And so what use are we going to make of this data when we have it? Well, I think it's important, transparency is important for us to make policies that are necessary to protect the public. Right, so what steps might be taken to protect the public based on the information we get about these uh, platforms, content, uh, amplification Well, practices? that's the purpose of all of us here, right? Uh, so we see something that's going on that's injurious to the public. We have a debate about the various approaches of trying to keep people safe. So for example, we have speed limits on roads because we have a debate back and forth as to uh, you know, the, the, the need for people to travel and get to places at a particular time and then also then the, the risks and hazards that presents to other people who also use that public space, that public road. And then we make a decision to uh, set standards about uh, 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 what the speed limits should be and uh, we even charge our agencies to, to, uh, to, in terms of actually establishing the speed limits based on the parameters that we've established in the I, law. I get that, but you know, we have, uh, there's a penalty if you violate the speed limit, right? You get a ticket. Uh, your bill as it currently stands, I don't, there's no sort of nope. uh, penalty. Is, is this the predicate for some follow-up action that you, that you uh, uh, that, have in mind? That, that's a decision by all of you. In fact, I won't be in the legislature when that, uh, those results come in, so that's for all of you who are still here to look at this data and say, is there anything we need to do about this? Right. Uh, but I mean, are you saying you think the government has a role to play in uh, what sort of uh, you know, uh, algorithms are used to uh, favor some content over others? No, the government has a role in protecting the public. That is the uh, fundamental role of government is public safety. Uh, I think that's outlined in the U.S. Constitution, it's outlined in the California Constitution. So this legislature will now have the information, as I mentioned earlier in my remarks, and I realize that you weren't here for that, is right now the only way we're finding out is we're finding out from whistleblowers. So there's content, there's information social media companies have about their own amplification and so forth, but it's not transparent and available to the public, right? And so it's hard for policymakers, so what, instead what happens is we have whistleblowers coming out saying, by the way, this social media company did a study and we found this. Now there are other social media companies that have published information as well, but, uh, but there's no obligation for them to do that. And so we need to understand what is going on in the black box, all right? So by the way, we, uh, we do that for lots of other areas. So if you wanna drive a car and the car manufacturer, they have to disclose certain information about the safety of the car. You get on an airplane, uh, FAA has certain regulations about what's, uh, you know, what it, how an airplane has to operate, how it's parts, et cetera, so forth. So this is about having information. And then it's a decision of all of you as elected officials, when you get this information to say, okay, now, because we can see the impact social media is having on, on sort of public discourse and other types of things. And uh, also, and so we can say, all right, uh, we want to understand what's going on and if there are things. Uh, and in fact, even this, I you know, appreciate TechNet coming in saying even though they're opposed, you know, we're trying to, trying to get to places. And so even some of the social media companies themselves have realized that this is perhaps an area for, uh, you know, for, for public debate so that it's not simply being decided uh, uh, you know, on the responsibility of each, each particular company. So even they've acknowledged that that's a challenge for them. So it's again, uh, I think as elected representatives, as legislators and so forth, uh, our job is to protect the public. Uh, and, uh, and so this data is, vitally, is, is important to understand what's going on so we could take the appropriate steps uh, and through our democratic process in deciding what sort of parameters we want to set. What sort of parameters, okay. Um, I, it just seems a little bit uh, concerning to me, the, the road that you're headed down. It seems like, uh, you know, the goal here is for the government uh, to have some say uh, in uh, the views that are allowed to be aired uh, well, on these but, platforms. In fact, this is, is that not about, what you're... I mean, this is about amplification, this is not about content. Well, I think that's sort of a distinction without a difference in the sense that if the platform uh, essentially suppresses the reach of a post, then that, uh, you know, limits the ability of... Of, uh, of that idea to be uh, expressed. I mean, would you not agree? Well, I think there's a, there's a saying that you can have free speech, but you're not owed free reach. So uh, that's a decision by uh, the company. Uh, obviously, we, uh, but again, th this bill is about transparency. Right. Right, so you can't, in other words, you can't, you, you have to understand what's going on before you can make, uh, so you can make reasonable steps, right? And when I say reasonable, of course, that falls in the realm of what is, you know, what our existing uh, rules and, and, uh, and values are. So, you know, a big believer in the First Amendment. Of course, we're gonna not, you know, I'm assume, because I won't be here, that when someone looks at the we're not gonna be making any rules that, of course, cross the First Amendment. 
Yeah. I mean, I guess that uh, part of my con concern here is that uh, the practices that are, are truly problematic that we see happening actually are not happening in a black box. They happen out in the open. I mean, as you might be aware, uh, the uh, companies like Facebook and Twitter have very aggressively uh, sought to, uh, you know, uh, actually take down content, uh, and sometimes they've done so uh, purportedly to protect public health or because they say the content is false, and then it actually turns out it wasn't false. For example, at the beginning of uh, COVID-19, we had any posts suggesting that this virus might have come from a lab was taken down. And so, I mean, maybe, th is that an area that you think we can work on as well as part of this, uh, this idea? So, so again, what we want to know is exactly what's going on with the amplification. That's what this bill is about, so that we have an understanding of what is uh, going on. And then it's a decision of all of you here as policymakers uh, as to what, you know, what to, how, how, to, how to address that, right, in the appropriate way. And that's through the democratic process, right? Uh, as elected officials and other policymakers that then will have an informed discussion and debate about what's the appropriate thing. I should also make note that these are private companies, right? And so right now, of course, under the First Amendment, uh, it's their right, because it's not government speech. Uh, anything you post on there is private. So it's uh, their decision as to, uh, you know, whatever they decide to do with either amping, you know, t t banning people, et cetera, that's their first speech. That's for their First Amendment rights uh, as, as private companies to uh, make business decisions. Well, so Senator, certainly understand if the government puts its thumb on the scale when it comes to those practices, uh, then that makes the uh, conduct a form of state action and the First Amendment applies. Well, that's a decision. By the way, again, uh, that's, that's for all of you to decide in the future, those of you who are still in office and involved in these types of things. And, of course, we do have uh, 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 things like the First Amendment uh, that will be uh, providing essential protections to speech. Okay, well that's a good note, I think, to close on. Um, I think that, you know, uh, I, I urge you to bear that sentiment in mind, actually, when it comes to speech that isn't left up to the democratic process. Uh, we have uh, constitutional guarantees uh, that exist, and uh, those, uh, I would argue, in, in many ways apply to these uh, social media platforms already, given the extent to which they've become entangled uh, with the government. But certainly, if we as a legislature were to say that we're going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, tinker with your content moderation practices, that would raise serious free speech concerns. And so I think that's something that we need to keep in mind uh, with this bill, since it clear, literally, clearly uh, is intended to move us in that direction.